Well, hi there, everybody. Good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here on this uh, Thursday morning here. As we take a look at things right now, we are uh, looking at a winter weather advisory that will go into place later today, starting at noon. Now, there is already maybe a little light snow falling over western areas here. The main event's still up here in South Dakota, and that's going to dive southeast as the day goes on. And for areas north and east of the Tri-Cities, that's where that purple area is, that winter weather advisory in effect. And most of the snow is going to fall starting around mid to late morning, continuing all the way through the end of the afternoon, early this evening. But this winter weather advisor goes through all the way through tomorrow morning because blowing snow could still be a threat overnight tonight. We are not looking at a major snowstorm by any means, so no need for a winter storm warning or blizzard warning or anything like that. So let's take a look at Futurecast. I mentioned uh, Futurecast isn't doing a great job picking up on the light snow that might be falling here in western areas. So again, the main event is up here in South Dakota. And that's going to dive southeast as the day goes on. By 10 o'clock, probably still dry around the Tri-Cities. I think the Tri-Cities, the main event, will be about 10 p.m. or 10 a.m. to about 5 p.m. But here comes the snow. Greater chances across the northeast. And also notice on the backside of the system right in here, we're going to get some strengthening north winds. The winds will really start to crank up this afternoon. So our peak temperature probably comes early afternoon. The snow continues to dive southeastward, but as that wind cranks up, blowing snow is still a problem, either from the snow that's falling or the newly fresh fallen snow or from existing snow that's on the ground. All of that could be blowing around. We could see some gusts later today, maybe up around 40 miles per hour or so. Into this evening, still pretty blustery out there, so the winds will still blow some of that snow around, and it's going to get very cold with the uh, wind chill values, especially factoring those wind chill values. Um, now, the winds will still be breezy into tomorrow morning, but not as strong, so no longer really a threat of blowing snow. Now, during the day, tomorrow we will start off mostly sunny with a few extra clouds later in the day, especially across the northeast. Winds will actually lighten up through the day, so our breeziest conditions will be in the morning. And it'll be cold out there. Now, one thing is that the uh, western areas will not be nearly as cold as the rest of us will be, especially tomorrow night. The coldest night this, of, of this week, or at least the end of this week, comes tomorrow night into Saturday morning, but with return southerly winds right in here, it won't be nearly as cold in the west as it will be near this high pressure over eastern Nebraska. Plus, there's going to be thicker clouds that act as a blanket, not as much for cloud cover right in here, so it's going to be a very cold night, Friday night and Saturday morning over eastern areas that I'll show you in just a bit. But first to the snowfall forecast. Again, we're not looking at a major snow later today. We'll see our amounts uh, under an inch from the Tri-City southwestward, one to two inches over northeastern areas into that winter, winter weather advisory area. And there may be some sneaky areas that get two to three inches over northeast Nebraska. So this is not going to be a major snowfall event by any means, but there may still be some slick conditions, plus that blowing snow. There could be, could be some issues out there still to your, your commute this afternoon or early this evening. High temperatures today topping out in the teens and 20s, and even some 30s out west. Now, I will tell you right now, Kimball currently is at 38 degrees as of the time I'm recording this. So they've already, maybe their high today is going to be higher this morning than it will be later today. But again, this is a trend we're going to continue to see in the days ahead. It won't be nearly as cold in these areas here as it is going to be for most of us. Uh, as we get into tonight, most of us will slip back below zero, um, nearer to below zero. So single digits below for the majority of the area. Of course, with the wind's still blowing, it's going to feel a lot colder than that. High temperatures tomorrow, single digits and teens for most of us. Again, near 20 in the southwest, not quite as cold in southwestern areas. Tomorrow night, this is the coldest night for the rest of this forecast here. But again, not as cold over at western and southwestern areas. But for the rest of us, single digits and teens below zero, even maybe a few places near 20 below or colder. And that's just your actual air temperature, not even factoring in the wind chill. This is going to be very close to a record low for Grand Island and Hastings. The record low, I believe, is about 15 below. It's, it's right around that. So we're going to be awfully close to a record as we get into uh, Saturday morning. Saturday itself, still another cold day. Single digits and teens again, but look out west. Near 20 here, Panhandle. Maybe some 30s in parts of the Panhandle as we're going to start to see that warmer air sneak eastward starting Saturday out west, but then into Sunday and beyond. And we're going to continue to see this pattern where the warmest temperatures will be over western areas. There's not as much snow on the ground out west, so that's another reason that it's going to be a little bit better out there. But first, we've got to get through these cold days. Now, tonight, starting at 6 o'clock, tonight, continuing through noon tomorrow, a wind chill advisory in place. Wind chill values could be quite cold, 15 to 25 below. And then tomorrow night into Saturday morning through noon, a wind chill watch is in effect. 
for most of the area. And again, that excludes southwestern areas where it won't be nearly as cold. Wind chill values 15 to 35 below zero, maybe even worse in eastern Nebraska. Let's look at the future wind chill product. This is starting tonight at 6 o'clock. We're going to see wind chills overnight tonight. Teens and even maybe some 20s below zero. Bitterly cold air on the way. It gets a little bit better during the daytime tomorrow. But then tomorrow night, here comes the return of those bitterly cold wind chills. Again, not as bad out west, but central into eastern areas. Wind chills 15, 25, 35 below. Some of the worst will be over eastern Nebraska. I would not rule out 40 below for a wind chill over eastern portions of Nebraska. It does start to get better as we head into the daytime on Saturday. So by noon, it's not quite as bad. It's still cold, but it's not as bad. And it's going to continue to get better from there and beyond. So, again, snow today for the Tri-Cities. Uh, an inch or less is kind of what I'm looking at right now. Time frame, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. is kind of the time frame I'm looking at. Uh, the wind's going to crank up later today. A little blowing snow, dropping temperatures in the end of the afternoon. Gets down to 3 below tomorrow morning. 10 above tomorrow. A little bit of a breezy day, especially in the morning. And then 14 below is what we'll go with for tomorrow night into Saturday morning. Close to a record low for Saturday morning. Saturday afternoon, back into the single digits for highs. Warmer out west. Uh, another cold night, Saturday night into Sunday morning. Not as cold, but still cold. And then we start to warm up on Sunday thanks to a pretty strong wind out of the south. So we kind of pay the price. Yeah, we get a warmer day, but it's still going to feel cold with those winds out there. Not as much wind Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And we're going to settle into a better weather pattern. We see the 30s return. Maybe some chances of rain, a slight chance on Monday. A little bit better chance possibly on Wednesday. Looking at the long range. Looks like it's going to stay on the milder side of things through the end of next week. The Climate Prediction Center for the uh, last six or seven days of, of January is predicting uh, near to above average temperatures. Most of the country, including here in Nebraska, I think will be near to a little bit above average. Precipitation-wise, better chances may be just off to our east, so I don't know if we'll see a whole lot during that time frame. We'll probably be looking at just a small chance of moisture for the final week of January. So let's take a look at things here. This is the North American model the next couple of days. There's today's snow. Then there's really not much moisture to talk about through the weekend here. That's the North American model. It only goes out for about three and a half days. Uh, the uh, European model, there's the snow today and then not much for the next few days. Then as we get into next week, we do start to talk chances of moisture. A slight chance on Monday. I put that chance in there. Better chances to our southeast. Might be a little snow mixing in there Monday night. We'll see if we see anything at all. A little bit better chance will come in Wednesday to Thursday, but right now this model is keeping most of it to our southeast, so only really affecting southeastern areas through the end of the week. We might see a little bit here and there, but not much moisture through that time frame. GFS is a little more aggressive. So the GFS, there's today's snow, and then quieter weather through the weekend. Next chance, I put that small chance in on Monday. The GFS does not have much for Monday. It's all off to our southeast. But then uh, we'll watch that Tuesday time frame. Probably not much there, but Wednesday, Thursday, I think we'll watch for a better chance of some rain and maybe a little snow mixed in on Thursday. We'll see if it can get cold enough. Doesn't look like anything significant, though. But one thing we'll have to also watch for is, as we see these rain chances return is there is the potential for maybe some uh, some ice jam jamming on along rivers as we start to melt off some of that snow and ice. All right, so again, we've got one more shot of cold air for the end of this week, but then after that, the cold air is going to move away from us, and we're going to settle into milder weather for most of the country. No Arctic air coming anytime soon. Well, I want to thank you all for watching on this Thursday morning. I will see you all again on Friday with all the latest. Take care, and God bless. Bye.